Swiss vote to approve COVID restrictions as infections rise. Swiss voters have given clear backing to legislation that introduced special COVID-19 certificates under which only people who have been vaccinated, recovered or tested negative can attend public events and gatherings. Here's a summary of the article. Berlin, Swiss voters on Sunday gave clear backing to legislation that introduced a system with special COVID-19 certificates under which only people who have been vaccinated, recovered or tested negative can attend public events and gatherings. The vote on the country's COVID-19 law, which also has unlocked billions of Swiss francs in aid for workers and businesses hit by the pandemic, came as Switzerland, like many other nations in Europe, faces a steep rise in coronavirus cases. The Swiss federal government, unlike others, hasn't responded with new restrictions. Analysts said it didn't want to stir up more opposition to its anti-COVID-19 policies before they faced Sunday's test at the ballot box, but that if Swiss voters gave a thumbs up, the government may well ratchet up its anti-COVID efforts. Of the country's 26 cantons, only two, Schwyz and appenzell Innerrhoden, both conservative rural regions in eastern Switzerland, voted against the legislation. Turnout on Sunday was 65.7%, unusually high for a country that holds referendums several times a year. On Tuesday, Swiss health authorities warned of a rising fifth wave on infections in the rich Alpine country, where vaccination rates are roughly in line with those in hard-hit neighbors Austria and Germany at about two-thirds of the population. This post received a score of 20,000, with an up-vote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The irony is that the vote was demanded by the anti-sanitary pass, and the sanitary pass has been approved by 60 plus percent. This is how it works. The parliament makes a law. If a large enough fraction of the population supports, by signing it, a motion against it, the law is voted on. Sometimes the majority ends up for it, sometimes against it. We have now voted on it twice. The second time it's passed with even more yes votes than the first time. Curious, is the requirement enforced in a legitimate way? In the States, vax, neg test required events seem to be loosely enforced. The owner of a restaurant in Zermatt was pretty vocal about not following the requirement and not checking the certificates. He was fined but that didn't stop him. After several rounds of getting served notices to follow the rules, eventually the police force closed the restaurant and arrested the owner. So yes, there is some level of enforcement. Vaccinated, recovered, or tested negative. Why is this so hard for everyone in the US to do? Three words. It's been politicized. I'm not American, but I've been watching their news coverage of the pandemic. Apparently, rather than being politicized, which it has been, the differing responses is due to their version of federalism, which is bottom up rather than top down. Can you explain this to me like I'm five? The government largely left the response to the individual states. That's why you see differing restrictions on different states. To a degree out makes sense, because Manhattan should have different restrictions than Prada Bay Alaska. Since everything COVID has been politicized you see both very LAX and very restrictive COVID policies across the country at the state, county, and city level rather than broad country-wide restrictions. Usually in cases of natural disaster, disease, or terrorist attack the response comes from the top down. Trump absolutely flubbed the pandemic response so bad that he was forcing states to compete with one another for ventilators. With no control of the situation, states had to fend for themselves. This has been the tone the entire pandemic, as if we weren't a divided nation already. Federal government under Trump was actively stealing supplies from some states that had purchased supplies themselves. There was a story of a state having to sneak masks and some other stuff in under the guise of being something else so it didn't get confiscated. I recall the Patriots jet brought supplies into Massachusetts because other means of bringing supplies into the state were seized by the Trump administration. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.